This is Damon L. Jacobs. I'm here with Facundo Rodriguez, who plays Julian on season two of Hustling. We are here at the premiere in Tribeca. How are you tonight? I'm good, thank yeah, you. How are you? Yeah, I'm just having a great time. I've gotten to see a few episodes now of season two, and yeah. um, I just love this series, how it just keeps evolving. Tell us about your character, Julian. Ooh, uh, well, I'm a porn star uh -huh. and dancer, uh -huh. and uh, that's how I met with, uh, with Ryan. Uh -huh. And, uh, well, I cannot tell too much. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there a little uh, non-professional play that's going to go on on the side between Julian and Ryan? Um, maybe. Maybe, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? Have you ever done a web series like this before? No, this is my first time. Yeah, what was this like for you to be involved in this project? In this uh, well, uh, I was happy, actually, because uh, I love Sebastian. He's an amazing guy. He's an amazing director and actor, and I learned a lot from him. And uh, uh, I'm happy, I'm happy. Yeah, what's the main thing you learned from Sebastian? Hmm. How to look sexy in the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think you would have any trouble with that. No, yeah, believe me. <laughs> okay. Speaking of which, so in this series, are you, you know, you play porn star, you play dancer. Does this mean there's some nudity or near nudity uh, in your... It may, be, it may be a lot of nudity with me. A lot of nudity. Uh, yeah. So are you comfortable doing those scenes? Are you comfortable showing your body in camera? It's the first time, actually, yeah. and I was really comfortable, yeah. Easy to do. But because of Sebastian, he's amazing. He made it comfortable? He made, yeah, he made it How? comfortable. Everybody, actually, the whole crew made it comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Great. And other than this web series, are you involved in theater or, or other things? Yes, producers? actually, I'm doing two shows right now. Oh, what are they? Yeah, uh, All About Meat and mm -hmm. uh, a duo theater. Okay. And uh, Confessions of a Cuban Sex Addict. Are you the Cuban sex addict? Yes, I am. Okay, <laughs> right. Now, are you yes, doing these two projects at the same time? Yes. How do you do two projects? How well, do you do uh, these two uh, All About Meat is on uh, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, uh -huh. and Confessions is on Mondays. Busy boy. Do you yeah. ever like mix the lines between the two shows? No, ever, like, and I hope yeah. it never happens. Okay. I thought right. about it. I'm like, my God, no. One is comedy and the other one is drama, so I don't want to mix it. <laughs> wow. So I'm here with Gary Kelling at the season two premiere of Hustling here in Tribeca. How are you? I'm great. Nice crowd out there. Enjoyed it. Huge crowd. Huge crowd came out to this tonight to see the premiere of season two. Did you ever imagine seeing such enthusiasm and passion about a web series? It's really amazing. Um, Sebastian started making this stuff up and learning how to do stuff and putting it all together. And I think everybody in his life, his friends, he, he wrote a lot of roles for specific people mm -hmm. and then sort of shyly said, well, I kind of wrote something for you in this, and every one of them did it. And were you one of the people he wrote a special role for? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for fans who saw season one, we remember this is the, you are the career counselor who has a, um, uh, who likes Rod's porn work, right? Yes, I was outed as a fan of porn. Okay. And in season two, is the career counselor coming back? He is. It's um, a little bit more of a mentoring role for Ryan. Mm -hmm. okay. Kind of somebody in his corner. Now, true to the indie spirit, aside from being on screen, you have done a lot of work on the show off screen. Tell us what you've been doing. Well, um, we were getting ready to shoot the first season and Sebastian got a location before he was ready. Crew was not in place yet. That which happens a lot on indie so shows. So I'm right? like, okay, what do you need? So I showed up and the crew of three and it just rolled in from there. I was doing different things. So like what? Um, running for props, doing set dressing stuff, holding sound, uh, script supervisor, anything that needed to be done running for food. I was kind of, yeah, a lot of everything. Line producer credit. That is wonderful. And again, just so powerful in the indie world how people step up. What's the um, funniest prop that you had to go get? Um, well, a lot of baby oil. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, not something you were ever expecting in your career to have to run to get baby oil on a web series. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> Any other projects or, or series that you are, are working on or promoting right now? Um, actually, uh, Manic Attack is a couple years old, but we had a big party here for that. Reminding me of that. ManicAttack.com. ManicAttack.com. 
Yeah, very I funny, like wild, it's I a little like funny or die-ish. Funny or die, okay. Oh. All right, Gary, well, thank you for your work. You know, again, a lot of work on camera, a lot of work off camera, but thank you for being part of making this series such a hit, such a success, which is being celebrated here tonight. Well, thank you. We look you. forward to uh, your career counseling good advice in, Syria in uh, season two and maybe three and four and then they're onward. Yeah, I say if you like season one, you are going to love season two. Oh, yeah. Bigger, longer, and even sexier. <laughs>